Hello, and welcome to the HT Supercross stream. I am Jeff H3962, that orange beautiful guy right there. And I'll be calling the shots today. So this is the seventh race of season seven, and so far it's been really exciting. We have Gogeta Rule still in first place. And seeking to overtake him is Pancake Muffin, who has one less race than Gogeta does but has the highest average in the entire squad, but he is still tied with Soda Pop, but wins that tiebreaker because he has more, more wins than he does. And that's just how we roll. So this is Heat 1, we're getting straight to it. We're on time today, I'm really excited. Let's do it. Alright, loading screens, it wouldn't be a Halo game without a loading screen. Here we go, we're about to start Heat 1, get this underway. This is Enigmatic SX, a track forged by King Edward, who is in Heat 2 right now. This is, uh, we've had this track since, uh, Season... Season 6, I believe, was the first time we raced this track. Uh, it is still a squad favorite. Everyone enjoys this. Uh, we also are using a new game type. You can see that we, we're not using Dominion Shields right there. We're using actual objects, and I think that you're going to be pretty excited to see what happens to them. As the gate is literally going to drop, and there we go. It drops. Disappears, I guess would be the, the right way to say that. But getting the whole shot, going out of that whip section, is either Shadow, Forges, or Sully as they go into the double step up into what HT Supercross Racer Castlefies calls a Sky Track section. As you all know, the first five finishers qualified in the main event. And uh, qualifying right now, we have Sully, Shadow, Shazzle, uh, this is Gogeta Rules, current first place office and then finishing all of that off is papa slunch a newcomer he's only uh he's, he's he's only been in one race to my knowledge though he may have been at warehouse which is a race that we missed but sully is uh still in first place gogeta rules has moved up from from about a fifth or sixth place start up into second place the farther up you finish in these heats the more comfortable you are shadow forges is starting to be challenged by papa slunch Slaunch might try to make an inside move here. He's going to play it a little safe, but could make a move going over this triple. Or the burn before the triple, I apologize. Or perhaps right after the finish line going into the first section. Let's see what happens. Skogeta rolls is still behind Sully of Muscle Milk KTM. And Slaunch, uh, Slaunch got a better run through those whoops. He got a little more speed. Oh, but he's not going to finish that rhythm section cleanly, and now he's side by side with Shazzle and Office, this looks like. But ends up getting the tail end of that situation, and is passed, and moves out of the final transfer spot. With six laps to go, go to our other view as we see Office still ahead of Shazzle and Slaunch. Nothing changed on that instantaneous teleport, which is good news for Office of Rockstar KTM. Sully's still in first place. Uh, Gogeta rules uh, isn't really gaining that much momentum on him. See, uh, gets a little squirrely going through that whip section right there. But Shadow has uh, has started to close the gap between him, 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 and Gogeta rules. I guess uh, this commentator's pronunciation is is uh, is off today. The top three have uh, created a little bit of separation between themselves and the rest of the pack. Shazzle 4 is in fourth place. Off is finishing that qualifying spot in fifth. Slaunch is going to need to make a pass on him if he wishes to advance directly into the main event and avoid the deeps of the LCQ. The treacherous deeps of the LCQ. Gogeta Rules definitely had a little bit faster run going out of that first rhythm section. 
but despite that, hasn't really closed closed uh, closed the gap. It, they're still about the same. In fact, Soli might have uh, gained a little bit of ground on Gogeta right there. Uh, Shadow still in third. Office, oh, Office is overtaken. Chazel and Slaunch goes down in the final rhythm section, and he's overtaken by a shift. I'm so shift faced of Troy Lee Designs Racing, and he's going to need to pass two people now, as I'm so shift faced is now right outside of a qualifying position, but not right next to that final qualifier. He's going to have to catch up with only three laps to go. So Gogeta Rules has passed Soli. Soli must have wrecked or messed up right there. Gogeta Rules is in first place right now, and Soli is being challenged by Shadow Forges. They're in a close battle right now. Soli hits the tough block right there, and now there's a three-person battle for third place. Shadow Forges uh, gets gets the tail end of that again. He's uh, He seems to be getting a lot of tail this race. Probably shouldn't have said that. But Office is uh, right behind Soli. Gonna go to our other view. So we get a overview of this beautiful track that is Enigmatic SX. The beauty of this track is definitely not an enigma. You can clearly see it. It's one of the few tracks that actually has a section that that goes uh, above the track in such a way as like a double step up and actually onto higher terrain. Most tracks that have a second section usually are artificial, for lack of a better word, and not based off of natural terrain. Sully is still in second place behind Gogeta Rules. His nickname on Halo Tracks is The Bitch, so look for that bitch to uh, maybe start uh, creating more separation between him and the Muscle Milk KTM rider of Sully. Office and Chazel are still exactly where they were before this but office is gonna completely uh uh say screw that to what i just said and be overtaken by chazel as he goes into that tough block and is then overtaken by monster energy kawasaki racer chazel four he's the fourth version of chazel not the first but the fourth oh jeter rules pretty much has this one in the bag in fact this race is over this has already hit eight laps Nobody knew that the race was over, not even this commentator, but uh, we're going to go in there and line up, and our host is going to get things situated for the last chance qualifier. And we will see you there. This is HT Supercross, Season 7. In fact, before we switch, I will uh, let you all know who qualified and who's advancing, just as courtesy. Gogeta Rules advances, uh, and then is followed by Sully, Shazzle, Office, and I'm So Shift Face. All five of those racers advance straight to the main event, and everyone behind Shift Face, beginning with Papa Slaunch, goes into the Last Chance Qualifier, which we will be right back with. Stay tuned. back and ready to start this last chance qualifier we only have four dudes in this uh, in this last chance qualifier so getting into the main event is uh, more than feasible in fact this is a uh, the easiest last chance qualifier in the history of HT Supercross maybe not that but definitely in the squad now we're gonna skip the lag test and head straight into this 
So only the top two advance, but there are only four racers. So, yeah, that being said, your chances are really good if you had to go into this last chance qualifier. Got Hatter, Edward, Papa Slanch, and Forger. Shadow Forges. Not Forger. Shadow Forges is the only member not, or the only racer not a member of a team in this last chance qualifier. So we get set for this whole shot and this gate drop. So a little bit of fun facts about this race v 2.1 game type. It was created by Lazy Algorithm, who was just recently promoted to administrator on Halotracks.org. Uh, he has uh, since uh, gathered an interest in creating modded game types. The gate is going to explode, and let's see who gets the whole shot here. A start is going to be very important as Slaunch goes down in the whoop section. Hatter is going to grab that whole shot with King Edward right behind him. Shadow Forges, though he's a rookie, does have a lot of skill. As well as Slaunch. So, this last chance qualifier. Oh, Hatter goes down over that double. That's going to take him out of the transfer spot and well behind the rest of the pack. But this is pack racing, and pack racing is generally slower than slower, uh, well, than solo racing, not slower racing. But Edward and Shadow Forges are currently in the final transfer positions. Edward, a member of Rockstar KTM, the second place team. That looks to end the reign of Monster Energy Kawasaki, who is the defending champion team. They finished first in the team standings last season. Edward gets a slightly further jump off of that final step up, but Shadow Forges, nonetheless, is still right behind him, still challenging for that spot, still wanting to let him know that he's there. He's not a square. I don't know why I just said that. So this race is more than 25% over, so if something bad happens, there will be a staggered start. Let's go to the other view. So Edward is over. Oh, Edward's been passed by Shadow Forges and is now behind Papa Slunch. Uh, we might have gotten that on the stream, but I was unfortunately distracted by something momentarily. Uh, King Edward is sitting out of a transfer spot. This would be the first time he does not qualify for a main event this season, if I'm not mistaken. He goes for that inside move and doesn't get it, and more than likely going to case the triple after this. Case does case it a little bit, but not as bad as I thought it would be. So Shadow Forges and Papa Slanch, who were both in Heat 1. Just sitting outside of a qualifying position after that heat are currently in first place. First and second place. And ready to transfer as long as they can both hold on for another three laps. And Slaunch is right behind him. By right behind him, I mean literally touching his back wheel there, making a little bit of contact. And Forges goes into the tough block a little bit. Slaunch is going to start casing this and Edward is going to be right back into this race. For that final transfer spot, the golden digit. Actually, this would be more like a silver ticket into the main event. Oh, and Slaunch goes down over that finish line double. Off of the end there, and that's going to put him out of a transfer position. Edward is currently sitting in the final transfer spot in second place, but about a quarter of a section behind Shadow Forges. In an amazing turn of events, Papa Slaunch is not going to the main event. As long as Edward and Shadow Forges, I keep forgetting who's in first place, can hold it together. What a last chance qualifier. This is only four people. It just goes to show that in the right environment, it doesn't matter how many racers you have. Incredible things can still happen. A tough break for Papa Slaunch right there, too. I know that that's not the preferable way to ever not qualify for a main event. Something that is already difficult is HT Supercross is averaging at about 18 signups per race, perhaps even a little bit more. 
and a lot of those signups show up. We usually only get one, one or two gentlemen that don't show up to the race. Shadow Forges is not on any team right now, but this is going to be two weeks in a row that he's qualified for the main event as he finishes this last chance qualifier in first place. And King Edward is going to grab that final transfer spot. And he will be going into the main event as well, helping Rockstar Energy Racing KTM start to look at the first place team of Monster Energy Kawasaki as we see a little bit of 666 right there. That's not okay. But we will be right back with the main event. Hope to see you there. It's going to be an exciting race. A lot of exciting things are going to happen. And yeah, HD Supercross. So uh, we're starting the main event lag test right now, but some things that we should go over, and uh, one of those things is the leaderboard. We have uh, we, we had some pretty significant movement from the last race. NJD moved down three positions. So he goes from fifth to eighth place. Gogeta Rules is still in first place, but Pancake Muffin is in second, even though he's. He's tied with Soda Pop. He wins that tiebreaker because he has more points. Or because he has more race wins. So whoever has more gold medals, more first places, or or the next podium if they don't have any gold medals, wins that tiebreaker. And Soli is still in fourth place. King Edward is actually moved ahead of NJD, if I'm not mistaken. That was part of NJD's huge move from 5th place all the way to 8th place, and he only sits behind Edward by 1 point on the leaderboard. So it is a really tight race. However, even though Gogeta rules, is in 1st place with more points, Pancake has the highest average out of any racer in the squad right now is something like a 13.7. And the reason Gogeta is in first place is because he has one more race than Pancake Muffin. But in HT Supercross, we count the top eight races. So so that could change once once Gogeta and Pancake and Soda Pop all start hitting eight races. In fact, when every one of the top five starts hitting eight races, we could start to see a lot of movement and the top five start to be really, really close to each other. And that's when that three point advantage really comes into play. So we're about to start this main event any second now. This is only the seventh race. This is a 17 week season and so far it has been extremely exciting. It's been a very successful season so far and I know that I thank everyone in every stream and this is where I'm gonna do that. I really do wanna thank everyone that comes out to the races and that comes out and watches the stream. You guys make this possible. You guys make this fun. We wouldn't do it if we didn't think that people would enjoy it. And we're glad that uh, 
that we've gotten good reception so far for this stream. That means a lot to us. Let's be going to this main event pretty soon. Gogeta rolls wanting to hold on to that first place, but he could. He could uh, fall behind both Pancake and Soda. Despite the fact that he is ahead of both of them by, I believe, 12, 12 to 13 points. If he has a bad race, that could mean all the difference in his, in his score. So consistency, when you're that high in the leaderboards, is definitely the name of the game. And as I have said for the previous two streams, it's, it's, all, it's all about those milliseconds. It always comes down to the milliseconds. Here we go. This is the main event. Let's do this. This is the main event, the race that counts. We have 12 racers all going for a first place, but only one of them will be able to get it. Who will it be? It could be Gogeta Rolls. He could further his lead. Despite the fact that, uh, again, I've already said despite way too many times, but he could further his lead, increase his average, and then once Pancake and Soda Pop start hitting that race cap, could mean all the difference. He could still have a decent lead or at least be ahead of him. So the gate is dropped and Soda Pop looks like he's going to grab this whole shot. Let's let's see uh, who gets it. It's going to be uh, it's more than likely Soda Pop though he cased those jumps right there a little bit. Uh but all three of in fact not all three, but the three riders of Soda Shazzle and oh, gaming just goes fly. Oh, this is this is lag, so we're gonna restart this. Actually, all right. So that was not a lag test, so there was a little bit of lag. And since the race was below fifty percent or twenty-five percent complete, we will restart it. We'll look to start this main event again shortly, as short as possible, and give you guys the large breasted action that we're that we've uh, all come to know and love. Here we go. Attempt number two. <laughs> A little bit further spawn this time, but that is all right because I don't go with them anyway. So once again, 12 racers all looking to get that first place spot, but it's up for grabs. These are all qualifying racers, all representing the top class of skill in HT Supercross. In fact, maybe I'm going to rattle, rattle some heads here. Maybe all of Halo as well. Halo's best racers all lined up in front of you right now. It's a spectacle. Soda Pop looks like he's going to be in good position for yet another hole shot. 
This would be his second one in a row, and he is uh, either himself or Gogeta Rules is going to grab that whole shot. This lobby seemed a lot less laggy this time. So Gogeta Rules in first place, followed by Soda Pop, and I'm so shift faced. Of Troy Lee Designs, Real Deal is behind them in fourth place, and finishing off the top five is another Monster Energy writer of njd but there's a huge conundrum going off over here office gets sent off the track he's going to miss a checkpoint Sully gets flown into a tough block that that was a very vicarious situation right there as at least three racers had their day uh, slightly ruined by their competitors going into and out of that rhythm section office or shift face is right next to real deal but real deal uh is gonna send him into the block a little bit but that doesn't look like it was intentional the pancake muffin is uh made his way into fifth place and is gonna start to challenge i'm so shift faced remember we can't say the other word the other word is a bad word it's not it's not suitable for the stream but shift face is gonna be passed by Pancake, and Pancake is going to suck his speed off on that triple and move into fourth place with his eyes set on Real Deal, who is a uh, self-proclaimed pro uh, proclaimed whole shot and master, but hasn't gotten the whole shot. I don't think he got it in the heat, and I don't think he got it into the LCQ, so be sure to tell him how to live his life and then ask him to prove it. It's kind of an inside joke, but I'm sure Real Deal would understand. It's Pancake Muffin is starting to work his way onto Real Deal's inside over here as they go over the final section. Over the triple, Pancake is starting to make a lot of time on Real Deal. So we hear the sound of those mongooses roaring past. Now Pancake has made a lot of pa uh, good passes uh, in the practice laps off of this first section. So this, this could be something that he does again, that he tries again, but it is a little risky passing anyone when you're going off of a single, but he's going to pass them on the upper terrace of Enigmatic SX and move into third place and gain, and, and still closing the gap between between Gogeta Rolls. Pancake is not done closing any gaps yet. His real deal is still behind him and wants to regain his position back. His pride's on the line. He knows that if he doesn't finish well, then he might face the ridicule of his peers. As we look back into the pack, we have Shadow Forges and King Edward and Hero side by side, duking it out as they go into the first section. And Edward is going to maintain an inside advantage and hold off Hero. Oh, and Hero goes down over the step up and loses his position to Sully. He only loses one position, but is in danger of losing another. As this is Shazzle 4, who had a great start before the we uh, needed to restart the race, and now isn't doing that hot. And I'm sure that Rockstar Energy Racing KTM is not complaining about that, but Office is still behind him. So as long as Office can get past him, we'll have movement up there. Speaking of movement, there is none between the top three right now. Real Deal is starting to fall behind just a wee bit, but is still maintaining good momentum through the track and has not fallen back towards Shadow Forges and King Edward, who are in 5th and 6th place. Soda Pop still in 1st place as we enter lap 6 of race 7. Pancake Muffin is starting to creep in on Gogeta rules right here he could make a pass he does have the highest average and he has a really solid plus minus so pancake knows how to make a pass and he's dangerous if he's behind you but Gogeta rules is also dangerous when he's left alone but now they're side by side going over the triple pancake tries for the inside and doesn't doesn't really get get it wasn't as close as he could be, but he is on Gogeta's inside right here. This could be an inside move over the finish line, but it is not. However, Pancake is going to try to get the inside over this section right here, but Gogeta rules, uh, tells him, no, I don't really want you doing that, and forces Pancake to the outside. So they go over this finish line double. Soda Pop hasn't really made a whole lot of 
ground on these on these two gentlemen right here. Uh, speaking of gentlemen, Pancake Muffin is actually the uh, former leader of the team Gentlemen's Club. So I guess that would be an apt term to describe that individual right there. Pancake is getting a little more speed going out of this triple. And could make a move for the pass right here on the inside. Doesn't really get it. Still, still not where he needs to be to make that pass. But he is on Gogeta's inside right now. So they're both going to take that section a little slow. So they're right next to each other, and as I've said before, pack racing is generally a little bit slower. Uh, especially when the pack is, is big, like like earlier. And as you can see, we have a, a couple battles going around the track. As we see, this is, uh, this is Hero and Edward going halfway around the track, around that halfway mark. Shazzle and Sully are currently right next to each other and Go uh, Gogeta has created some separation between him and Pancake. He's about four mongoose lengths ahead of Pancake right now but Pancake could regain that ground and he will definitely gain a, uh, some valuable time as he negotiates that step up much much more efficiently than Gogeta Rules did and he's gonna think about an inside pass here but still not where he needs to be. He seems to be having some trouble Creating that pass on Gogeta rules. And if he cannot beat Soda Pop, Soda Pop will once again retake second place all to himself. Regardless of team advantage or how many races he's had. Because both him and Pancake have had the same number of races. That's also another way that we break ties in HD Supercross. Whoever has the most races will actually win that tiebreaker if i'm not mistaken the pancake is a uh, he could go he could go outside inside he's going to try it here but gogeta rules plays it safe and takes that inside triple and then flips over it and then is overtaken by pancake muffin off of the triple he tried to hold off pancakes inside he knew that he was going to do that and tried to adjust his line accordingly and does not does not hold him off and now he is about half a section behind pancake muffin and soda pop is already starting to lap riders shift face who was in a really good position at the start of this race has somehow managed to find his way to last place there's not really too many ways to describe that he, w he had a great start i don't really know what happened but now he's back there he gets blue flagged by a couple of racers. Real deal, still not incredibly far behind anyone. He's holding his own, but Pancake is going to have to start running some insane laps. Uh, a really, really fast lap time on this track is about 37 seconds. And you can see that we have a lap timer on the bottom of the screen there. That actually uh, is a new addition to the Race V2.1 game type. That is currently being updated again, and we will have a 2.2 here soon. But this game type adds in a feature to where you can tell objects to disappear by assigning them a specific label, uh, which I believe is race gate in this case. And then when the gate drops is actually controlled by the game type settings, you can, you can have it anywhere between 1 and 40 seconds. I believe, or you can keep it on random, and the random is what we do for HT Supercross. That's the way we set up our game types. Pancake looks like he's getting a little bit closer to Soda Pop. His line is a little bit faster, and he, he could be pulling off either some quicker 38 second times, or he could be even getting some 37 seconds. On our screen, it looked like he cased that triple there, but he's actually safe. We'll go back to our other view, keep things interesting, and find these gentlemen as Soda Pop and Pancake are pretty much alone in first place now, Go uh, first and second place. Gogeta Rules has fallen behind a little bit, and he needs to keep up his consistency if he wants to maintain that first place, or at least if he wants to make sure that his team is ahead of Pancake's team, of Rockstar energy racing KTM. Pancake does 
hit the back end of that triple right there with uh, the rear portion of his mangoose. And has actually gotten closer to Soda Pop. He's going to start thinking about making some moves on him right now. We're going to look away for just a couple seconds. See if we can find anything else going on. And hopefully we don't actually... We're going to stay with these two. Because they're starting to get really close. And this is a battle for first place. And I don't want to take you guys away from that. It's Pancake and Soda. The two favorites to win this season, Soda Pop, perhaps the favorite, as he's the defending champion, but Pancake is showing him that he's going to need to work for it this time. Not that he didn't work for it last time, but that it's going to be even tougher this season to win that championship. And Pancake is, is getting closer. He's going to start thinking about making one of those passes again. Uh, Soda Pop whipping, doing a little scrub out of the end there. That's That should help out his time a little bit. But Pancake is closing the gap, and every single lap is getting just a little bit closer. As far as Enigmatic is concerned, it seems like Pancake Muffin is one of the masters of it. So they're both going over the... Elevated section right there, the terrace section, and Gogeta Rules is behind them by a lot. They are on, they're about to go over the triple. Gogeta is on the whoops. That is how far back he is away from the leaders. And in fact, that is how it was in Charlotte. Both Pancake and Soda Pop just found themselves miles ahead. Pancake Muffin cases goes nose first. Over that finish line double, and that could be the end of his race as long as Soda Pop can keep holding on. Pancake might have been able to get a last lap pass, or maybe even a pass on this lap, but is not going to be able to get it as he cases that. I'm not really sure how he did it. He, he might have tried to go over that inside hump and just didn't get enough speed. Soda Pop is going into the final lap now with some good distance between him and Pancake. This this could be Soda Pop's second win of the season, which would tie him for wins with Pancake and also leave him one point ahead of Pancake Muffin and put him in second place all by himself. Again, by only one point, but still by himself. And in fact, one point is what could separate the first place winner and the second place well, I'm not going to say loser, but the second place finisher of this season. So one point can mean all the difference. But Soda Pop is set to take the win on race seven. Enigmatic SX. With Pancake finishing right behind him. After that, oh, there's a teleporter there. After a crazy, crazy endo over that finish line and landing on the finish line in endo fashion we have soda pop pancake muffin real deal shazzle shadow forges sully and jd hero office and edward not not a very good race for Rockstar Energy Racing KTM, but a very solid race for Monster Energy Kawasaki. Is uh, Two of their team members take podium spot, have another in the top five, and then another in the top ten, even though I guess since there's only 12 racers, uh, top ten isn't that impressive. But still, they all made the main event, and that is one of the keys to winning this season is to make sure that all of your team members are getting into the main event. Because that's where the big points are. We'll be right back with the post-race interviews. We're going to switch back into the first intermission graphics since it actually displays the right thing. It doesn't say events start at 3.30 Eastern.
just when I think that everything is set up and done right. Turns out that it is not. I am here with your first place finisher in Enigmatic SX Race 7, Season 7 HD Supercross Halo Tracks on the internet, Soda Pop 13, the leader of still first place team, Monster Energy Kawasaki. So Soda Pop, you and Pancake are neck and neck on the leaderboard. Do you describe what it's like to battle with Pancake so fiercely and it seems like almost every single race. Well, it's well, it's really it's, tough to take it's um, really tough like to mentally on the it's always that sounds because it's just a video game. But like when you have someone who's just as fast as you, someone who's just as consistent as uh, consistent as you, and who can you know have the mindset of you know how to set a pass, it's kind of it kind of makes you wonder a little bit, so you just have to, you know, hold every single lap consistent as possible. It's not even about speed, like, all the time. It's just not wrecking. It's kind of hard to accomplish to not make any mistakes in the race, but um, I was able to make it happen in that race. So, we've used a new game type for this one. Uh, the gate's a little more realistic. It creates more of a, an exciting experience. Uh, you get the lap timers as well. Uh, how would you describe, uh, well, I guess a better question would be, how are you liking the new game type? Do you think it's more suitable for this, or do you think the other one was better? Um, yeah, I think it's more suitable because, um, the, yeah, suitable well, one, because the starting gate, the, uh, people can't well, time it anymore. We don't have to make um, extra versions. And on top of that, it just makes for a more realistic race in my opinion because uh, you can actually see lap times. Well, not realistic, but more interesting race because now you can actually see who's the fastest on the track. Like I said, you can't time the gate, so it just makes it more fair, I guess. I'll put it like that. So this, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is both yours and Pancake's seventh race. Yeah. Uh, so after this... No, this is this is me and Pancake's. Six. Well, we've done we've done seven, and we both missed well, one. So that was me and Pancake seven, six and we both Okay. One, so, that was me and so six. in race nine, as long as both of you show up, you're you're both gonna have eight races. So, what are what are your personal expectations for yourself and your teammates, and making sure that you guys can support each other once Pancake and the rest of his team start hitting that eight race cap, along with you guys, and the leaderboards start to crunch together. Um, well, like you said, it is going to be close, and, um, I feel like that might set off a, a little bit of, maybe not a little bit of panic, but a little bit of, you know, worry and, like, concern if they're going to, you know, about how, you know, compacted the points are. So I'm just going to tell them that, uh, you know... Tell them that, uh, well, it's just all it's just all about doing the best that you well, can uh, each race. I don't really know um, a better, better way to put it. Like, obviously after the eight race max, obviously after the eight race we're gonna start replacing races, and um, everybody's gonna be really really close. Um, I guess the best I'm gonna be able to do uh, for my team is uh, just keep doing what we're doing because. Um, before each race, we'd gather up in a party and kind of, you know, discuss the plan on the race and uh, discuss how to get a good start. Um, and that's been actually that's been helping us a lot. So I'm just going to try to keep doing that and see what the best can come from that. So, and again, correct me if I'm not mistaken, but you you grabbed the whole shot. You finished the first lap in first place, and then you ended the race in first place. As your sponsor of Monster Energy. Have they, have they started putting anything uh, extra into your into your energy drinks? Are you doing the uh, performance enhancing monster energy beverages just as a pancake muffin is suspected of performance enhancing pancake muffins? Um. Well, I mean, we do uh, have monster energy that uh, I feel does increase our uh, performance depth. But uh, to be honest, the thing that I think increases our performance the most is um, midweek before the races. We usually uh, attend some yoga classes, 
and that uh you know just you know putting in some putting in some nice finger stretches and uh getting back on Halo and doing some nice mongoose pull ups before the race really helps a lot. Alrighty, that ladies and gentlemen is your first place winner and now second place on the leaderboards by one point over Pancake Muffin and tied with him in number of race wins. Soda Pop 13. Soda Pop, thank you for talking with us. Have a good day and best best of luck next week. Hope to see you out. I think I'm good. All right. All right. So, shenanigans aside, I am now here with Pancake Muffin. So, Muffin made out of pancakes, and he finished in second place. So, it was lap 18. You're getting closer to Soda Pop, starting to think pass, and then out of nowhere, you endowed into the finish line. What happened? Well,. That's the second time I've heard that, and uh, I guess the stream kind of played it out wrong. It wasn't just a random end, though. I saw Soda Pop hit the little inside, because uh, I guess he thought maybe I was going to try to go for a pass, and he tried to take the inside, and he kind of two-wheeled a tiny bit, and I got MC, and I jumped off the right side, and I hit the little indent in the mountain. Oh, uh, gotcha. Okay. So, you know, only... One point behind Soda Pop in the leaderboards, as long as Soda didn't get, you know, some crazy intentional wreck. But you and him are extremely close on the leaderboards. You have been for the entire season, with the exception of the first couple of races. And not only that, but you're close to each other in the races themselves. So what's it like to race with someone like Soda Pop to always be on his heels or always have him on yours? Uh... Me and Soda have kind of like had a rival, not a friendly rivalry for a long time. It's kind of like Ricky Carmichael and James Stewart back in the day. But I mean, Soda's an awesome racer and he's an awesome dude. So it's really fun to race with him because you know he's going to keep it clean unless you piss him off. So it's, it's a good time. So who's Ricky Carmichael? Well, I mean, of course. <laughs> I mean, the guy that it's, it's, I don't know, you decide. Well, considering that Soda Pop has been here for a little bit longer, I think we'll uh, call him Ricky. That means I'm the fastest mongoose driver on the planet. It also means that you uh, choke in the whoop section all the time. All right, listen up, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, um, the team didn't really have a great race that one. I'm sure that... You all would have liked to uh, have that one back a little bit, with the exception of yourself. A second place finish is always good. Uh, did you talk to your teammates at all and maybe uh, found out what happened to them, why they finished outside of the top five, which is uh, where, where, where you definitely want to be when you're facing teams like Monster Energy Kawasaki? Yeah, for sure. Um, I haven't talked to them yet. I'm um, gonna safely assume they were they were doing they were running fast laps in practice, so it, the speed wasn't a problem. I don't think it's probably just the fact that it's very difficult to pass to find a different line on this track. So I wouldn't hold it against them, but uh, we're definitely gonna fix the problems for next week. Are you worried at all about Monster Energy Kawasaki maybe pulling away from you and? having a lead that might not be possible to catch? Well, I mean, they went from 60 points to 65, so they're really just starting to pull away now. All right. That, that settles that question, sort and sweet. Uh, but that will 
pretty much wrap it up with Pancake. Is there anyone that you'd like to thank? I totally forgot to ask that to Soda Pop. I feel terrible. Oh, uh, well, once again, uh, Axe Shampoo. Uh, well, again, uh, uh, they're my brand new sponsor. Uh, they've been helping me out in my showers recently. So just a big shout out to them. And uh, also to uh, Easter for our uh, gear this week. Decided to run some Easter gear. And, uh, you know, looks pretty, pretty fancy on the track. So thanks, Easter. Alrighty. So that is uh, Pancake Muffin. Once again, our second place finisher in race seven. He has six races, uh, tied with Soda Pop in both the amount of races they've done and amount of wins that they have each. Pancake Muffin, thank you for talking with us. Best of luck to yourself and the rest of Rockstar Energy Racing Kutama next week. Thank you. Okay. All right, so I'm here with a person that can't maintain his consistency in getting first places. This is Gogeta Rules, also known as the bitch. Gogeta, thank you for talking with us. Uh, you had a good start in that race. And it seems that your consistency issues to maintain your persona as being a first place racer on the leaderboard is starting to slip. So, uh,. Why is that slipping, and why are you just getting really bad at racing? Well, Jeff, I just think that you should well, shut Jeff, your whole mouth, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I just think that reason. But um, I just have to admit, uh, Soda and Pancake are just currently just downright beating me, and they're just great racers, while I, like, I had two bad races uh, without a podium in them. And this race, they just plain beat me, and they did the other weeks as well, by the way. But, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I was okay with that race, and happy to get the 1-3 for Kawasaki. And your team is definitely, uh, in a really good place on the team leaderboard right now to maintain that plus three advantage. So... Uh, Box Hill is next, and you've you you really came out of the woodworks and established yourself as a really consistent racer. All jokes aside, you have really impressed me, and I'm sure everyone else in HT Supercross since you started being a little more active in season five. So, knowing that you know you you have a good level of skill, no doubt, um, and I'm not you know asking you to be arrogant. But what does that do to your level of confidence going into races like Box Hill, which become very pivotal because you're going to be the only racer in the top three that has eight races, but still Pancake has a higher average than everyone else in the squad currently. Oh, Jeff, that uh, really does something to my confidence. It has, like, um, after a few races this season... I realize that I'm actually good at Supercross now, and that I can compete for wins. And uh, I think it really helps me because it just helps me go out there and uh, get that W. And I think that um, that eight race total is going to help me as well. Even though I think later in the season I'll probably get some races, for, but for right now it's just going to help me improve every. Uh, results that I get, you know. So, like, I'm probably going to replace my present finish because that was not in the best race. And uh, hopefully that will boost me in the standings as well. 
All right. Is there anyone you'd like to thank before we conclude this stream? I would like to thank my mom who's sleeping in the room next to me right now. Um, Will Smith, keep it up. Uh, my team. My oh, and our team your bus driver Shadow Forges, and a special or and a shout out to Pancake for being a fast guy on track. Uh, respect for him. And uh, yeah, that's about it, Jeff. All right. Thank you very much for speaking with us and for coming out to the race. Hope to see you next week, and I wish you luck. You to yourself you. and the rest of Monster Energy Kowasaki. Thank you, Jeff. See you later. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. All right. And that concludes our broadcast of Race 7, Season 7, in HD Supercross. We hope to see you all out here next week. It's going to be an exciting race on Box Hill, the only X-Range track so far. And if you want to join HD Supercross, we invite you to come race with us by going to halotracks.org, creating an account, and then heading to the HT Supercross forum, or if you already have an account and are logged in, you can take a shortcut and go to halotracks.org slash HTSX. Fantastic squad, fantastic people, and fantastic times. My name is Jeff H3962, and I hope that you enjoyed the broadcast. And if you were rooting for Soda Pop, I know you enjoyed the outcome. Have a nice day.